Boxing Voice here with tonight's promoter, Carlos El Famoso Hernandez, former two-time world champion. Congratulations on another fun event, a uh, successful event. Um, what did you think of tonight's show? I thought it was an action-packed show. Uh, a lot of the feedback that we're receiving from the people that are really not boxing fans, and uh, they're giving us very good, positive reviews. And I think that's uh, what I'm trying to do, is just get the normal people, the people that are not really into boxing. If they're, if they're into anything, they're into MMA. And I'm trying to get them back to the boxing. And t this year has been a good year for boxing. Um, you know, with all the momentum we've been picking up around the world, even with the MMA crowd, their best, their biggest name is going into boxing and fighting Mayweather, uh, one of your former opponents. So do you think right now is the, is, why, is the best time to strike while the iron is hot as far as boxing? Yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, this is the best time. But, uh, you know, boxing is never going to die. I mean, they've been talking about this. Obviously, we've had the golden years with boxing in the 80s, but boxing will not die. I mean, that's as uh, simple as that. Uh, MMA could try to take over. Maybe it can with, uh, with the numbers, but at the end of the day, boxing is a solid sport that's going to stay. And, and going on to this year again, we've been seeing that there has been a trend where your era, where everybody fought everybody, young, in their primes, back to back, we're starting to see that again. And that's what you're, you're trying to bring to this area. Um, does, does that kind of uh, feed into the game plan and the mindset when it comes to your mission statement? A absolutely. What I want to do, though, is uh, start with these young fighters who, who are basically known as just uh, the guys that we put as opponents. I want to get these guys the, the, the chance. Give them the chance to, to win on, on an even playing card. And so uh, I think that's what the fans see. And they see that these guys want it as well. They want to win as well. They don't want to be just uh, an opponent. And so I think that's what, uh, what the viewers saw and uh, what, what uh, we're trying to give out is an equal playing field for all the fighters. Okay, and so far this year, we've been in this area, San Antonio, a hot market, Texas. We see we do big numbers in this state. Um, there's been a lot of po political battles going on, and it seemed to affect us the most. Where we don't see the the, the Golden Boys, the top ranks, the, the the PBCs around this year anymore. But the people who seem to be keeping the life the lifeline to boxing is guys like yourself, guys like uh, the local promoters. Uh, and, and it seems like boxing helps boxing, no matter who the local promoters are. So is that where you feel? like um, you're kind of making a difference also to keep it hot because this is the market well absolutely I mean San Antonio is a, is a, is a hotbed is a boxing uh, it's a boxing promoters paradise because the numbers do they do well here the the people love boxing and most of these people that you see here that fill this uh, the tables they're people that are really not into boxing but they they if you promote it right if you talk to them about it they'll come and you saw that they enjoyed the fight so I'm, I'm trying to do my part uh, as a local promoter to win over the, the non-boxing uh, fans and, and have them come for more. And tonight was kind of a gamble because a lot of these guys were from out of town. And that, that was the concern coming in. But they showed up early. They showed up in force. And, and they, they supported the event. And it, it was a good night. So uh, what, what, what is your overall take as, as far as that? Let me tell you something about local. You know, when, when you say local, to me, local, uh, growing up in L.A., local is like Long Beach going to the San Fernando Valley is like it's like going from here to Laredo yeah. so to me like guys from Laredo guys from uh, from Austin that's a uh, local uh, obviously Brownsville that's that's far over there McAllen yeah that's a that's a bit far uh, but still to me that's a uh, that's kind of the, the South Texas. I'm trying to hit the South Texas scene, and uh, I believe uh, little by little we're going to do that. All right. Well, uh, you know, again, tonight was a, was a good night. It was a fun night. Um, so what, what are we going to expect from Formosa Productions um, in the near future? Well, uh, we just did a show about uh, a month ago in uh, El Salvador, so I, I think it went well over there. Um, the the reaction is the same. the The public is not a boxing boxing country, so uh, we are trying to see if we're gonna stay here and do our next show here, or we're gonna go to El Salvador. But uh, I think uh, that after the listening to everybody and what they're saying, you know, boxing, uh, we, we're gonna keep 
promoting here in San Antonio. Okay, lastly, I'm going to close with the crazy question because we've got cr a crazy event coming on this year. Uh, it's it's reminiscent of Ali and Oki back when uh, Ali was in his heyday. Um, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, one of your Floyd Mayweather, a guy you shared the ring with and gave a tough fight, and actually was the was the first guy to drop him. So uh, the only guy to drop him. So what are your thoughts on the fight, and who do you got? I definitely have uh, Mayweather winning, without a doubt. It's, uh, I believe it's what you said as well and made a lot of sense, is that you have a guy who for over 20 years was uh, at the, the best fighter in, in, in our era. And uh, nobody, he's fought the best in the world, De La Hoya, Pacquiao, and made him look like just regular fighters. So for this guy not to even have one amateur fight, let alone professional fight. I mean, I, I think it's just uh, it's it. I don't know if it's a joke, but it, it'll, I think it's going to be great for boxing because the, people are going to really understand that boxing is the real thing, not MMA. I'm not saying I'm not knocking MMA, but if you want to get knockouts in MMA, what do you do? You box. Exactly. All right. Appreciate the time again. Correct. Congratulations on the successful event. Uh, one of the nicest guy in the sport. Carlos Famoso Hernandez closing out the boxing voice.